we have to look for Angela and her children. I think you are correct. But I have done that already. I have sent Pastor Lazarus to do that. May God have mercy on us. We have also wronged her. How? We should have taken her in. But she left before we could reach her. Now you know about that now. I am sure she believes that we are in support of her husband. Because I, I, I'm very sure that wherever she is, she's not happy with us. But you know I've never been in support of her husband. She doesn't know that. We need to seek God's direction. And not to rely on Pastor Lazarus alone. Deception is real, Ajawani Ajoka, from grace to grass, beware of them, wolf in sheep clothing. Deception is real, Ajawani Ajoka, from grace to grass, beware of them, wolf in sheep clothing. Deception is real, Ajawani Ajoka, from grace to grass, beware of them. What are you doing here? If you don't leave here, I am going to stab myself and end it all. Just get out! Please don't do that. I said you should leave. Please don't do that. Just, just listen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did you wrong. I was wrong. I said against you. I said against God. I said against everybody. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Sorry. Please. It's relief! Please forgive me. For the sake of my son and my uncle and my uncle. No, tell me. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. And in the midst of that, he was being knocked 
down by a hit and run driver. My son used to say, Mommy, I'm going to be a medical doctor. Mommy, I'm going to be a doctor. Daddy, I'll be a doctor so that when you grow old, I'll treat you. What happened? That dream. That ambition. That desire was cut short. Off. Just because of you. Because of you. I know. I am. A billionaire pastor's son. Stay hugging sunset water. It is busy, my head. Because of you, Indra, because of you, my son, my son died. I saw something like a water. Because of you, Indra. I'm sorry. Because of you. I'm sorry. Because of you. You went back, you went back. It's right up in there. Never forgive you, just leave him. Go, go, go. Go, you killed my son. <laughs> it's all right. My special guest, okay? Maybe someone that knows how to do Come on, go down here.
doing here? What are your child's diapers doing literally my compound? Diapers? Yes, diapers! I, I... You're stuttering. Angela, you're stuttering. I am asking you again. Why are your child's diapers literally my compound? Sorry, ma'am. Where? Where? You're asking me! You're asking me! This girl is disgusting! What rubbish is this? You're such a pig! Frank! 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 Wash me thoroughly from my iniquities. Study well, keep studying hard. You know that he wants you to be a pastor, right? No, 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 mommy. I don't want to be a pastor. I want to be a doctor. So when both of you are sick, I'll treat you. <laughs> you keep saying this, but Daddy wants you to be a pastor. I want to be a doctor. Okay. Study hard in the meantime. Sacrifice is ready. As of the gods. Baba, should we kill him? No! That's the last sacrifice. We still need the suckling baby. Yes.
So you are crying because Obina's line is off. No, yes, no. You don't understand that we spoke a few hours ago and, and he promised to call back up to now. His line is not connecting. Uh -huh. It may be because of uh, network uh, failure or battery or what else. Eh? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now wait, wait. I have take it. Take. Uh, it's sweet it's, it's it's of now. It's due to battery. Eh? Please stop crying. Stop my crying. I pray, I pray. Now you don't understand. You don't understand. I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable. My body is weak. My heart is beating, 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 beating. You need to listen to my heart. No, is it because of your heart is beating? Or because you are not connecting to him? Why are you crying? Line is not connecting. Don't worry. Obina will call you. Very soon. I'm very sure Obina is going to call you. He has stopped crying. I'm not eating this money. I'm not eating this money because of my Obina. Is that the problem? Nothing bad should happen to me. Because don't. I will just kill myself. I will just die. I will ah. kill myself. I will kill myself. I will kill myself. <laughs> What's wrong? Tina, it is an emergency. Please, we need to go now. Emergency? Yes. Just give me a minute. Let's go, let's go. Bella. Bella, what happened? What is he doing in that intensive unit? What happened? What happened to him? A site manager saw him in an uncompleted building, lying lifeless. So he brought him to my clinic. My goodness! Tina, he drank a poisonous substance. Oh, he wants to take his life. Why? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. But I've succeeded in neutralizing the poison in his system. You know, and uh, but the problem now is that it affected his kidney, his heart, and his lungs. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Bella. Bella. See now, if anything happens to him now, just know that I did my best. Yes. Bella, no, no, please. You can't say this to me, okay? You, you, you can't. You can't say this to me. Yeah, I know. I know, you, I know you're doing your best. I know you've done your best, but you have to do more. Please, do more. Get more hands. Do, please, help me. See, I'm Thank you. In, in intercepting the poison and neutralizing, diffusing everything. Yeah, I've tried all I could right now. If you believe in any God, pray and pray hard. Yeah. That of my hands now is in God's hand. Oh my goodness, please, you have to, you need to help me, help me, okay, please, Bella, please. Okay, calm down, just calm down, okay? <laughs> Hold on, let me call a colleague of mine. Okay, okay. Okay, come on, pick up. Hello? Yeah, Dr. Frank. Yes, it's Dr. Bella. Okay. Dr. Frank, please, there's an emergency right now. Yes, in my clinic. Please, can I have you now? Oh, that's great. Okay. okay, I'll be waiting. Thank you. Is he coming? Yes, he's coming. Yes. Tina! Yes! I need you to calm down. Bella, I am calm. I got this. Now. Hey! Hey! What's in my room? 
Angela's pants. Angela's pants. See what I found in my room? Angela's pants. Angela's pants. How did you know? Eh? Hmm. It's very Angela, Angela. Eh? Eh? You don't know? Chris, you know what? Angela and my brother have been doing the game more. They have been chopping themselves. It's a lie. I said, my brother has been entering Angela's uh, uh, vacuum. Hey! You don't know? Hey! Hey! Well, I'm, 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 I'm out of here. Chris! Chris, they've slept with my husband, though. They've slept with my husband, though. They've slept with my husband, though. Hey! Angela! Angela! Go get a pint of uh, blood ready. Okay. In an hour's time, the transfusion should be done. All right, I'll get to it. Yeah. Okay. Doctor, yes. how is he now? He's, he's stable now. At the moment, he's stable. I'm very sure after the blood uh, transfusion, he will be fine. Okay. So as you see, everything is under control. Okay, doctor. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh -huh. How are you? I'm not fine, Uga. Well, lie, Uga, I'm not fine. What Uga, how can I be fine? When if you see the way you uh, is it madam, the uh, the sister, whether uh, Uga Chris, if you see the way they do to my baby, well, lie, you pity her. What did they, do? they were doing this one was giving boom, this one was giving her boom, this one was giving her boom in this house. Well, lie, my baby, I pity her. Well, lie. This one, are you serious? Well, lie, it's a lie. Okay, that is not even all. Okay. Wallahi, my baby is not in this house. My baby is not in this house. In the middle of the night, they drop my baby out of this house. If you see her, come on, she don't have anybody in this place, in this world. This one, I hope you're not kidding me. Okay, wallahi, Suma, I swear to God, wallahi. Doris! 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 
Doris! Yes, Doris. What did you do to Angela and her baby? Eh? You're asking about your side chick. You came back to ask me about your side chick, eh, Frank? Well, I threw her out of the house. Yes! Yes, I did! Frank, I thought you promised me that you'd be a faithful husband. I thought you said I would never cheat on you, eh, Frank? I have never done that. What was her pants doing in our bedroom? Yes! Eh? She thought I was coming back and that she forgot to wear her pants. Yes! You're talking balderdash. Doris, you're talking balderdash! Let me warn you. If I go to my office and come back and I do not see Angela and her baby, bet you me I'll get to incarcerated. And you! So what you do now is rape people in my house? You wanted to rape a breastfeeding mother? Yes. If not for blood, I'm Uogola. Listen, I will make sure you go to jail and you rot there. Nonsense! And you? I have said it. If I go, come back, and I do not see her. Excuse me. No, Frank, you push me because of another woman. You push me because of another woman. It's not going to happen. Chris, did I just hear your brother say that you attempted to rape that woman? Rape who? A, a, a breastfeeding my, uh, my mother? Hey, man, it's true. I, it's true. She girl. Me rape her. Wait, 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 wait. Chris, so while I was thinking that we were teaming up to get that woman out of this house, you had your eyes on her? Ah, huh, Chris? Teaming up, wanky. Teaming up, nekanyanku. Teaming up. Oh! So because she refused to open her legs for you, you went in there and planted those parties in the bedroom. Me, plant? Is this planting season? How, how can I plant plants? Chris, you are wicked! You are wicked! Come on! You are a wicked person. Yeah, how can a wicked, oh, wicked, punished. wicked, I mean, I mean, oh, I mean? Oh! So after sleeping with me, you dare attempt to wake a breastfeeding mother? You just said it, a breastfeeding mother. How would I do such a thing? Make God punish you! 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 You, Chris! How pathetic! You are so impossible, God! I feel so cheap right now! Sleeping with you, go on! <laughs> oh, God, Chris, my wife. Amin, Amin, Hegia, Amin, Wawa Benza Kawai. Do you know what? Oh, yes. I will open up. Yes, I will confess. I will tell everybody that you set an innocent woman up just because she refused to open her legs for you. Fool! Look at how you made me hit a breastfeeding mother. Be God punish you, idiot. Be God punish you. Wait, fool. Be God punish you. I was just messing you with now. Postrating, postrating. I postrating in the room. Hi. You are going to ask us. This girl will cast everything. Now, nah, temple or nine. Temple. It's not connecting. God protect him for me, oh, protect him for me, please. What kind of light is this? How? Why did you want to die? I mean, why? So I felt very useless. I didn't see the need to want to live. God forbid. You are my pastor. Okay? You prayed for me years back and everything began to pave way for me. 
I saw you in a market pushing wheelbarrow and I, I, I didn't believe what I saw. I mean, what happened to you, Pastor Israel? What happened? It's a long story. It's a very long story. I have the whole day. Please, talk to me. It started with a friend of mine, a pastor friend of mine, Pastor David, when he convinced me that I should start my own ministry. Even though I knew I wasn't ready, even though I know the Lord hadn't spoken to me, I convinced my head pastor that the Holy Spirit told me to start my own ministry. He believed me. That's how, that's how it all started. And everything just... for a convention. I want you to take care of the house, mostly the church. Good. Good. I'm impressed with the testimonies that are coming in. The church is glad with what God is using you to do. I am so much impressed. And I will urge you to keep the fire burning some. Hmm? And especially the youth church that you are heading. Yes. There is so much instant miracle, healing, and testimony. Hmm? And favor too. Jeez. Especially when you preach. And I pray that the fire in you will keep burning to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. And amen. A wide number of youths gave their life to Christ last Sunday. Yes. Amen. I'm so impressed. And I will want you to continue that. Amen. I want you to keep the fire burning. Burn it. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll talk about you sit here. I remember all I said. I will see what I will do. You see about what I've been telling you. I don't know why you don't want to listen to me. Don't you want to own your own church? Don't you want to have your own branches? How long do you intend to pastor these little churches for youths? Why can't Papa send you to other states where you can pastor other churches, those big churches? You are grace with the unction of the Holy Ghost. For how long do you want to be under Papa Gio? You, you, you need, you, you're the talk of the church. You have what no one has in this church. I think I have a suggestion. A wonderful suggestion at that. What is that? I want you to open your own branch. I want you to open your own church. Look, Pastor David, I do not have the power to do that. I just, I just cannot. Of course you have the power. What are you, you talking have, about? You have the charisma. You have the skill of communication. You have the energy. You have the love, the passion to talk to the people. You are graced. Do you know that people you prayed for, God richly blessed them. A whole lot of people in this church are where they are today because of your prayers. You can even heal the sick. People you prayed for. I, 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 I do. The testimonies are so numerous to count. If you ask me, 
I will say that Papa Gio is suppressing your grace. You just have to take your stand. Take your stand in this level. Look, Pastor David, I don't want to be that holy rebel, okay? Besides, Papa Gio's heart is going to be broken. I mean, I, I cannot do it. It's not right. Pastor Israel, don't talk like this. See, let me tell you. I, Pastor David, I will follow you. And I know some other pastors in the church that are willing to serve under you. Let me tell you, I hear God as I hear myself. God is speaking through me. It, let me tell you, there are big men of God and women in this ministry today that are willing to break out with you. Trust me. Just agree and take this bold step. You see God's miraculous work in your life and in your ministry. Please, I beg of you. Please. Please listen to me. Allow him settle you when the time is right. I, I would plead that you stay and grow stronger, wax stronger under him. Leave his church to be worshipped in divine direction from the Holy Spirit. Not just me say. Look at it this way. I have served Papa Gio for six years. Six good years. Right? And God has helped me to set the oppressed free. I've become popular. People are knowing me, appreciating my pastoral deeds. So I think it's the best time to leave. Have you heard about strike when it's hot? Yes. You strike when it's hot. And now that I'm popular and people are appreciating me, it's the best time to leave. I can train pastors. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm ordained. It's a lesson. I think we should see all of this as a lesson. Pastor David is there to help me train these pastors. So why not? I insist you still serve him more. This man has good plans for us. I even overheard him telling his wife that he wants to send us to London so he can head one of his churches over there. You don't? I do. Please listen to me. Like I said, Leading his church to go open you should be a divine direction from the Holy Spirit. But who said I'm not divinely led right now? Do not get carried away with what God is using you to do in this church. Give it time. I, I, I still feel and I know I am divine led. I'm not doing anything out of the flesh. Good night, baby. Think about it. I know what I am saying. Allow God to tell you when to leave. Don't just move on your own. Pastor David is right. I have to own my church and leave. My wife is trying to discourage me because they are of the same tribe. She wants me to continue to serve him till I die. No, I must leave. I must have my own church. 
I will not pastor any of his churches either. Here or outside the country. No, I will not do it. I will not be his slave forever. Yes, God is using me to heal the sick and a lot more. I deserve to have my own church, not to pastor in a branch. said you heard from the Lord that you want to open your own church, Pastor Israel. Yes, yes, Papa, I did. About three times the Lord spoke to me and I'm convinced in my spirit that it was from the Lord. If I'm not even mistaken, I probably heard him four times and it was strong, convincing. And you think you can handle your own ministry? Yes. I mean, are you capable? Yes, of course, Papa, I'm, I'm capable. By the grace of God, it's going to work. And with my wife by my side, you know how industrious and prophetic she can be. It will work, please. However, I'm not going to relent ever to come and see you if there are any issues or advice I need now and again. You are my spiritual father and you will continue to be my spiritual father and mentor forever and ever. Anyway, since you said you have from the Lord, because I supposed to hear before you or even speak to me or my wife or any of the pastors. But who am I to say no when God said yes? I'm going to support you. I'm going to remain your father as far as you take me as your father and I will continue to wish you well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am so grateful. I am, oh, I'm elated. I'm absolutely appreciative. Thank you very much. And I'm not going to disappoint you. I'm going to get a big church and a huge one. And of course, I will invite you to do a couple of preaching at my church. Pastor David will announce your departure on Sunday. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Like you said, I'm your father. You are my son. Whatever you need, don't hesitate to come to me and mama here. Because we are ready for you. I will keep on praying for you supporting you and making sure that anything you do will prosper Amen. to the glory of god Amen. yes uh mama uh, we have to pray for him hmm? let us pray for him today hmm. it's been two years Pastor Israel opened his church. Influence of congregation is amazing. To God be the glory. Honestly, I'm happy for him. But he put a lot of members from our church with him. Even our best chorister, Sister Annabelle. And so many others are willing to go with him. Honey, my she will stay and stick with me. We are one in the body of Christ. Hmm. But I don't like his lifestyle. He lives an exotic and luxurious life spending and buying expensive cars. I have cautioned him. I've called him to order. But he seems to be controlled by worldly 
are frivolous things. That's my worry. The house they are staying in now, someone bought it for them. And also gave them a land. Well, I must say, the Lord is really working with him. Amen. But I'm worried. I will advise you call him again and ask him to trim down his ego is vivid. Everything is too obvious. His egocentric lifestyle uh -uh, is not good for a pastor. Okay, I will. Hmm? Okay, so, so that 25 million, this is what I need you to do. Transfer 20 million into my personal account. And then the balance 5 million, you can put it in the church's account so that they can take care of all the logistics and all the maintenance and what you should do. Before I forget, somebody's going to transfer 10 million into the church's account. And I need you to transfer that money, divert it into my personal account. I don't want any mix up. So please, if you didn't get me right, I can repeat myself. Okay, so yes, I am saying out of the 25 million, put 20 million into my personal account and then 5 million into the church's account. And then somebody by two o'clock today will pay. 10 million will drop into the church's account, divert that money, put it in my personal account. Is that understood? My dear accountant, clear? All right then. Okay, God bless you. Hey. My loving husband. My sweet pastor. Uh, uh, <laughs> my uh, daddy G.O. <laughs> so you're just carrying sweet words. So you're just trying to mess with my head. Come on. That's what you're trying to do. <laughs> that reminds me. Mm -hmm. You told me that we'll be traveling to South Africa for a crusade. Oh, yeah, of course. Yes, we're going. We're going to okay. go and that, that crusade will last for about three days. Okay. But I've got a plan. I want us to make a stop in Dubai. <laughs> I heard you saying you haven't been to Dubai and you would love to go. We'll make a stop there. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm happier than you are. I can't wait. You know, when you, when you are with someone that you like and love, mm. and you go somewhere that you've never been, the experience is out of this world. I'm okay. So you want to talk? Yes. What is it? Okay. You said you want to talk? Yes. I'm listening. Truth is, the way you've been living your life recently, it is so carnal and vulnerable. We do not pray anymore as a family. The amount of money you spend on every little thing is outrageous. Uh -huh. Just yesterday, you ordered for a pair of shoe what? 5.5 million naira. Last week, you bought a wristwatch. What? 20 million naira. Do you think God is going to be happy? God will not like this, so God will not like it. This is not why he called you into ministry. I have to speak out, too. Uh -huh. Speak out now. Continue to speak out. Shana, only you have mouth. Speak out. We can invest this money in the lives of our poor church members. Those ones who have who have nothing doing. 
we can we can start up something for them. Get, get them busy. That's all I'm trying. Are you done? Are you done talking? You don't pray anymore. Listen to me. This should be the first and the last time you ever tell me how to spend my money or what to spend my money on. The last time. God knows what I'm saying is the truth. When last did we pray together? When last did you gather your family for us to pray together? Every time you mount the pulpit, preaching to the people about fasting and praying. Pray and fast. Yet you don't fast and pray. You do not participate in any of the spiritual program anymore. You do not pray or fast again. Nothing. Nothing. Look, I'm trying to sleep, okay? I want to sleep. You want to sleep? You, you see this thing you said you want me to go to Canada to go and give back? That outrageous money they collect from people just to put to bed? I won't go. I won't go. That money is enough to feed over 300 of our church members. I will give back to Nigeria here. We have good hospitals. You are the wise one. You are the wise woman. Keep talking. You are even wiser than your husband. It's okay now. You can give back here. God knows I have spoken my peace, so I will speak the truth all the time. How can an ordained pastor come short of, of- Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! It's enough! Pastor Israel. Just shut up. Pastor Israel. You are telling the pastor's wife to shut up? I am the pastor. Who are you if the pastor is here? Shut up. My dear, what is this I hear about you and Pastor Israel always traveling outside the country together? Oh, okay, ma. Um, he made me his worship leader. Everybody knows about this. And we travel sometimes for church program. I mean, crusade, ma. And if I may ask, who and who does this travel with you people? Oh, <laughs> we usually travel with um, some pastors and some... Ma, I hope I'm not in some kind of investigation or I'm lost here. Listen to me, my daughter. You are very young, beautiful, vibrant, and smart. And you were gifted too. You were once our choir director. And you choose to go with Pastor Israel. I am not here for discrimination. I want you to remain steadfast on your calling as a gospel singer. I am not here to discriminate. We are one body in Christ. So please stick to your calling as a gospel singer. Yeah, I 
fully understand you, Ma. Well, thank you for honoring my call. That will be all for now. Okay, thank you, Ma. You are welcome, and you can go. May God have mercy on you people. Oh no. Eljo. Angel. It's me. Angel. I'm so sorry. Junior. Junior. I'm not Junior. I'm not Junior. I'm not Junior. My son. It's, it's me, Israel. Israel. I'm not Junior. 